kitty cats. We're cute. But I'm cuter. Me wow. The little things in life. One day, the kitty cat family decided to visit Grandpa. You'll go paddling with Grandpa this afternoon. And after, we'll have extra yummy treats for tea. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Oh, I need to help Daddy in the kitchen. We'll be leaving in a half an hour. That means we have more time to play. Okay, think fast. Daddy was talking to Grandpa on the phone. We'll bring our inflatable kayak over for a little paddling. Excellent. I'll gather some strawberries for tea. Don't bother with little things like that, Dad. I'm bringing one of my famous cheese pies for tea. Okay. I can't wait to see you all. It's gone back by 15 minutes. Righto. The inflatable kayak. Check. Paddles. Fishing rods, and most important of all, your life jackets. Hmm. And just enough time to make sure the pie gets baked through. We need to make the time right again. I'll hit it again. That'll make it move back. That didn't work. Uh, yuck. Yuck. <laughs> Whatever. It's just a little thing. It doesn't matter. Nobody looks at clocks anymore. They get the time on their phone. Let's play. Honey, something's burning. This doesn't make any sense at all. According to the living room clock, uh -huh. this pie should have stayed in the oven for 15 more minutes at least. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. It's all right. We'll bring Grandpa some jam instead of the pie. Oh! Ah! Oh, oh. Well, bye-bye, Jam. Oh, dear. We need to clean up this broken glass. Quick, we need to beat the traffic to get to Grandpa's on time. Ah, uh, I forgot to secure it to the roof because I was thinking about the jam. Daddy had to go back to get the boat and secure it to the roof. While he did, the traffic got worse. Uh, this might take a while. Uh, hello, family. What took you all so long? Hello. Hi there, Pa. We're a bit later than we expected to be, but I think we still have time for some paddling. I'm afraid not. By the time we get the boat blown up, the sun will have set. This really is not our lucky day. We're sorry. This is all our fault. We accidentally knocked the clock and moved the hand so the time changed. We thought it wasn't a big deal. But because of what we thought was a little thing, a bunch of other things went wrong. Like the pie being cooked too long and burning. Ah. And because of that, Mommy had to bring jam instead. And all the jars broke. And cleaning up the mess in broken jars made Daddy forget to secure the kayak right. And going back for the kayak made us stuck in traffic. One little mistake with the clock messed everything up. Now it's no paddling pie or jam. <laughs> I have a really good idea. Let's pay more attention to the little things. Excellent advice, kittens. The little things in life are often the most important of all. We can paddle some other time. Don't you worry. As for yummy things to eat, how about fresh strawberries? Strawberries! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Good thing that Grandpa still decided to gather some strawberries. And the kittens realized that even a small thing can have a big effect. Like little strawberries brightening up a frustrating day. Playing in the dark. One night, Mommy and Daddy went out to dinner and left the kittens at home with Grandma. Grandma, will you play with us, please? I have to finish making your dinner before I can play, darlings. But you three just go ahead and I'll join in when I'm finished. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! <laughs> Whoa! 
The lights went out. <laughs> Did I clap too hard? Ah! Cookie pudding, what happened? I'm afraid of the dark. Why? What's there to be afraid of? But you were just blindfolded when we were playing, and that's the same thing as being in the dark. But wearing a blindfold isn't nearly as dark as real darkness. Kittens, where are you? Grandma! It looks like every single light in the house is out, but everything's going to be all right. We need to head down to the cellar to find some flashlights. But it's even darker down there. Maybe we can wait up here for the lights to come back on? But what if they stay off for a long time? We'll be fine down there, kittens, because we'll all be together the whole time. Well, all right. going down the steps, dears. Uh, Goodness, what's the matter, Candy? I'm frightened. It's even darker down there, you know. I'm not even a bit scared, and I'll tell you why. Because darkness is our friend. There are many beautiful things that we never see without it, like the lovely glimmer of this candlelight and the twinkling stars. These wonderful things can only be seen in the dark. The stars aren't up there. <gasps> oh, wow! Not to mention there's a great deal of fun to be had when you're playing in the dark, especially if you can get your paws on a flashlight. <laughs> Come and look at this, Candy. Look, it's a duck. Quack, 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 quack. <laughs> <laughs> and this is a mountain. Look, Cookie Mobile. <laughs> And this is a butterfly. Whoa, I just got very hungry. Yeah, I'm starving. Goodness, kittens, I'm afraid I forgot to finish dinner and all the confusion. Let's try to root out something to eat down here. Something which doesn't need any cooking. I already found something awesome. Cookies. And I see apples over here. I've got carrots. Dinner uh -huh. is served. Uh -huh. Oh, and look, the lights are back on as well. Oh, no. But we were having all that fun in the dark. And it wasn't really scary at all. <sighs> hey, I just had a really good idea. See, now we can play in the dark again all we want. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Goodness, kittens, what's going on in here? Has the electricity gone out? Yeah! Oh. It did go out, but it's on again. We just have the lights out because the dark is fun. Why, Candy, you're not afraid of the dark anymore? That's just wonderful. Well done. Come over here, everyone, and enjoy our shadow show. And that's how Candy learned that darkness is really nothing to be afraid of. And playing in the dark can be a lot of fun. <laughs> Ghosts. One day, Mommy and Daddy decided to clean every nook and cranny in the house. While you are carefully vacuuming every rug we have, I will do the window washing. Then we'll do the cellar together. Also, we have to change all of the bedding in the house and wash all the curtains huh? and dust the shelves. Hey, we'd like to help you both with the house cleaning. Really? Are you sure you won't get distracted and start playing? We won't get distracted. We really want to help. Pretty please, Mommy. Okay, now Candy, you can wipe all the dust off all the shelves. While Cookie and Pudding change all the bed sheets in your room, all right? So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Wouldn't it just be super awesome to have a big pillowcase race? <laughs> <laughs> Sure would, but first we have to finish our work, remember? <laughs> hey, Pudding, you look amazing, just like a genuine real-life ghost! 
<laughs> so do you. I can see you through the sheet. Me too. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Afraid, Candy? Remember, there's no such thing as ghosts. But I really saw them. Do you think they live in the basement and we disturbed them with all the spring cleaning? Imagining things, sweetheart. We don't need to worry about ghosts. But not having enough time to hang the linens out to dry does worry me. Candy wanted to take a picture of the ghosts and show it to Mommy. Oh, they're not here. Admit it. We really got you. Boo! <laughs> <gasps> How awful! Uh, Mommy, are you that afraid of these ghosts? No, I'm afraid that you have muddied up my nice clean linens. It was absolutely Cookie and Pudding's fault. They were running around pretending to be ghosts instead of cleaning. You weren't doing your cleaning either. You forgot all about dusting the shelves. Instead, you were just chasing us around. Yeah, and you're the reason we ended up in the puddle and got all muddy. Oh, I just knew you kittens would end up playing and forget all about cleaning. Hey, I know what we should do. We need to finish the jobs that we started, but without any distractions, like ghost chasing. That's a really good idea, Candy. Come on, I'll find some other clean linens for the beds. Mommy, we finished everything! Great, kittens! All that's left is cleaning up the basement. After that, all of our housekeeping jobs will be finished. Uh, uh, huh? uh, 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 it's a real ghost! <laughs> oh, my kitty! I just found these cool old white curtains in the basement. What should I do with them? These old sheets would be just perfect for dressing up as ghosts. So awesome! Wow! 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 And that's how the kitty cats learned that playing could be even more fun after all the work was done. Winter fun with Daddy. One winter's day, Daddy decided to bring the kitty cats to a park for some fun sledding on the snowy slopes. We'll have a great time playing in the snow with Daddy. <laughs> wow, this is great. We can do whatever we want. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Kittens, two things. Listen when I tell you something, and we have to be home by lunchtime. Wow! There were so many slopes, they didn't know which one to choose. I want to huh? ride down this one. I want to go on uh, that one. Oh. No, that one over there. Uh, well, now, kittens, we can only stay for a few hours. Come on, we have to hurry. <laughs> <laughs> of course, time flies when you're having fun. <laughs> kittens, no taking naps in the snow. <laughs> Okay, well, it's time we headed home. Aww. But we haven't even had a chance to slide down the biggest slope. <laughs> well, I suppose we can do one more run. To get to the top of the highest slope, Daddy and the kittens needed to ride a special lift. Wowee! Oh, cool! Oh. Okay, keep your scarf on. It, it's windy up here. But, Dad, I'm really hot. And plus, there's no wind here at all. Whoa! Aww. 
That wouldn't happen if you'd listen to me. Now we have to go rescue your scarf. <laughs> well, hurry up. Hey, I wonder, if I fall into a snow pile down there, will I turn into a big snowball? <laughs> oh, I... Huh, it would be really fun. Oh, I wonder how far down you can ride this slope. Remember, we don't have a lot of time. <laughs> that was awesome! And now we must rescue Cookie Scarf from the tree. Huh? Now don't shake the tree or you'll get covered with snow! <laughs> I did tell you that would happen. <laughs> huh? ah. Now we need to head home, yes? Huh? Uh, what's wrong? The kittens wanted to go for one more ride. The three of you promise we'll leave right after this? Sure, Daddy! But then the snow started falling. I wonder which one of these snow piles is our car. We really need to get out of here. <laughs> this one is green. It's not ours. This one's blue. Not ours. It's red. Hey, everyone, I think I found our car. <laughs> oh. oh. Huh? <laughs> Thanks for digging my car out of that mountain of snow. Bye-bye. <laughs> Oh, no. I'm so tired and cold, and I'm really hungry. <laughs> Me too, Pudding. None of this would have happened if we listened to Daddy in the first place. <laughs> it's great that you understand that, kittens. But right now we need to solve the witch's our car mystery. I have a really good idea. Daddy should click the beeper on his key. <laughs> I guess I should have thought of that in the first place. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! <laughs> well, let's dig our car out of the snow and head home. Mommy's expecting us. By listening to Daddy and working together, the kittens made it back for lunch with Mommy, happy and excited to be home after a morning on the slopes. At Daddy's work. One day, Daddy came home from work very tired. Oh. <sighs> Daddy's home! Hey, Daddy, play tag with us. You're it. Come on, Dad. I'm sorry, kittens, but it was a hard day at work, and I'm exhausted. But you work at a candy factory. What's hard about that? Yeah, it's the greatest job of all time. <laughs> Your office probably has a chocolate river. <laughs> That's not the way things are. Tell you what, I'll take you with me to work tomorrow for a factory tour. You can see for yourselves. We get to go work with Daddy! So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! The next morning, Daddy took the kittens to the factory and showed them his office. Awesome! Coming up with ideas for new sweets must be so much fun! You think it's easy to come up with new sweets, kittens? Of course! Like, um, eclairs with honey in them. Already have that. Uh, how about blueberry donuts? <laughs> Already got them. How about a cookie that's shaped like a car with chocolate wheels and marshmallow cats riding inside? Yum. We've got that as well. Well, the part where you make the sweets has got to be really, really fun. Oh, well, look for yourselves. We have several manufacturing departments where different cakes and cookies are prepared. Wow, that's so cool. <laughs> Let's go there, Daddy. This is where such ingredients as eggs, sugar, and flour are stirred together to create a base for future sweet treats. How a sweet comes out depends on the way the base is mixed in step one. 
You can mix it so that it comes out crunchy, brittle, or chewy. Cookie, uh. stop! <laughs> Look, kittens, this is all quite complex equipment. Please ask permission before you touch any of it. I'm really sorry, Daddy. I thought it would be easier to operate. Here's the main assembly line. Here the dough base is placed on the conveyor, and along the line, cream is added, and then the berries. By the end, it's a finished cream tart. You can place some tarts on the line, but please be careful. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, goodness, my hat! Oh, my word! We have to stop the assembly line! Daddy had to stop the main assembly line. <laughs> a cream-filled hat tart. Now that's a new sweet. Well, I can't wear it now, I guess. Guess not, but it's really good. The supermarket just called to make sure today's delivery is coming. But what's wrong? The assembly line is off. Uh, so we had a teeny tiny problem. <gasps> so we can't fill the order? I've got a really good idea. We can help you, right? There has to be some simple task that we can handle. <laughs> the kittens found it easy to put stamps on boxes. Soon, all the sweets were ready for delivery. Oh, right on time, as always. Thanks for the wonderful service and yummy treats. We aim to please. Plus, today at work, I've had a little extra help. Cookie candy pudding, thank you. Excellent work, kittens. We need to be getting back to the factory now. The kittens and I have more work to do. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Now the kitty cats know that making sweet treats is not as easy as they thought, which makes them seem even more delicious. Following instructions. One day, Grandma was cleaning out a room for the kittens to have sleepovers at her house. Grandma! My dear lovely kittens, your new bedroom is virtually ready. All that's left is to build your beds. They'll be so comfy. Well, that is, as soon as I figure out how to assemble them. So awesome! Wow, wow. Wow. Where's the pirate ship you bought for us, Daddy? Ahoy, here it is. But I think I left the instruction manual in the trunk. Uh, look, got it! Huh? Mm. <laughs> oh, there are a lot of parts in that one. It should take a long time. Piece of cake. We'll make the pirate ship super quick. And then we can go down and sail it on your pond. Wonderful. And while all of you are busy assembling ships and beds, I will go cook our dinner. Hey, Pudding, can you tell me what this says? Uh, take part A and connect it with part B. Then insert part C straight into part D. Huh? I didn't understand a single word of that. Hmm. <laughs> We can put the ship together using our imagination. Imagine that this is part of the pirate ship's deck. This looks like the steering wheel. And right here is the pirate flag. The kittens are sure that they can build a great ship. Aww. I guess we need the instructions after all. I'll go and get them out of the trash bin. But those instructions are so long. I'll be 100 years old before I'm done with them. I think we should try being logical. Meaning what? I'll explain. There's a lot of these small planks. They probably form the deck. It's only logical, right? They probably go up on top of these bow-shaped parts. That's logical too, isn't it? Doesn't, Doesn't look, look logical. logical. So, I guess it's time to get the instructions out of the trash bin. All right. All right. in this garbage can? I sorted them into the recycling bins so the garbage men could cart them off. No! Oh! 
Oh, why'd I have to throw the instructions out? Oh, we'll never be able to find them now. Oh, it wouldn't be with the glass recycling. Instructions are made of paper. It should be in with the paper recycling, which hasn't been emptied out yet. Hooray! The instructions! Thank you very much, Grandma. This time around, the kitty cats did everything just as the instructions told them to. It still didn't work with the instructions. What's going on? I have a really good idea. Let's ask Daddy to help us put the pirate ship together. Daddy was still hard at work assembling the kitten's beds. <laughs> It looks like Daddy needs just as much help as us. Daddy, are you sure you're following the instructions? Well, I did look them over. Uh, I just laid them aside. Uh, I thought I could build it on my own. So, uh, uh, mast and uh, uh, anchor and uh, uh, steering wheel. Oh, kitten dears, may I have a look at your instruction manual? Well, I figured out the problem. You got your instructions mixed up somehow. Right here are the pirate ship instructions, and here are the ones for the beds. Well, look at that. <laughs> uh, well, I don't think you'll have any more problems now. So awesome! Wow, me, wow, me, wow, me, wow! It can be fun imagining or trying to figure out things for yourself. Following the instructions usually makes the job much easier. Piano practice. Candy said she wanted to learn to play the piano. <laughs> Great! Thanks! Now we can learn to play all sorts of tunes. You could play us lullabies at bedtime. <laughs> or you could play something really fun for our games. <laughs> but first, Candy has to learn to play. Cupcake's mom will be giving her lessons. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! All right, let's start with some scales. Now you give it a try. All right, now try the left paw. Wonderful! Now let's just repeat that from the top. Cookie and Pudding thought that Candy's lessons were very boring. Instead, they went to watch their favorite pirate show on TV. Hey! <laughs> Candy's lesson was one hour long. She needs to practice playing her scales every single day. <laughs> See you later. See you later. See you later. The next morning, the kittens decided to play pirates in the yard. Arr! <laughs> Yo ho! Candy, remember you need to practice your piano scales for half an hour. Candy, I don't hear you practicing. Okay, I'll start now. <laughs> Arr, our pirate ship is setting sail toward the treasure island. <laughs> Arr, oh no, we've been attacked by a sea monster. Arr, Arr don't let it gobble up our ship. <laughs> Arr, Arr. I'm missing the fun because I have to practice those silly scales. Hmm, I think you can help me. Can help me, can help me. Hey, hey. <laughs> all hands on deck. But what about your practice? Oh, that. I'm all done. Good morning. Good morning. I just stopped by to see how Candy was getting on. Well, she's been practicing for quite a while. Oh. Huh? Ba -da -da -dum -bum. 
bum 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 Candy, if you don't want to learn the piano, just say so. I want to play, I do. But what's the point in playing scales? But you must play scales to train your paws. Once you've practiced enough, you can play all sorts of tunes. Just listen to this. Hey, that's from our favorite show. I would love to play that. Looks like it's still too hard for you to play. Well, I know how to fix that. I must practice my scales to train my paws to play. After a few more lessons, Candy gathered everyone in the kitty cat's room. Oh, well done. Bravo. You did it. That was really great, Candy. Practicing scales really works. Practicing scales really works. <laughs> so <laughs> The chance to learn a favorite tune was Candy's inspiration to play the piano and bring joy to everyone around her. Cookie takes a break. One day, Daddy made an exciting announcement. My kittens, today we're visiting an aquarium. We'll see all kinds of fish and octopuses. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! But first, you need to pick your train track up off of the floor. In case it causes a toy train kitten collision. <laughs> we'll clean up now. Sounds wonderful. And Daddy will buy our aquarium tickets online. We built such a gigantic train track that it'll take us forever to put it away. Well, we'd better get started then. Tidying up wasn't Cookie's favorite thing to do. Uh, uh, uh. Cookie, can you put the controller in the box? It's too heavy for me. However, just lying there and waiting was pretty boring. Cookie! Ouchie! Get off your paw or it'll never oh. get better. But I'm thirsty. I'll get you something to drink. And if you need something else, just tell us and we'll help you. Cookie started to rather like that having a sore paw ah. made everyone help him out. He started calling pudding and candy for every little thing. I'd love to have an apple. Uh, on second thought, I'd love a pear more. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then Puss in Boots asked the princess. How are you, Cookie? Are you feeling any better? No, nope, my paw's still hurting. Shouldn't we tell Mommy? We shouldn't bother Mommy about one little sore paw. What if she sends me off to the hospital? <laughs> Maybe we should put some ice on your paw. Please don't do that. I'd probably catch a cold from all the ice. Achoo. If we had a time machine, we could use it to return to earlier. <laughs> And keep Cookie from hurting his oh. paw. Oh! Ah. Ah. But there's no such thing as a time machine. I'm sure my paw will get better on its own, but not yet. Hey, I think some cartoons would really help. Look, kittens, I just printed out our tickets to the aquarium. Ah. Oh! Uh. Daddy! Ah. Goodness, looks like dear old Daddy just had a major train collision. The bruise isn't too bad, but Daddy cannot drive anywhere today. Now, kittens, why didn't you clean up like we asked you to? 
We were cleaning, but Cookie dropped the control box right on his paw. Then he started caring for Cookie instead. Um, to be honest, the box didn't really fall on my paw. Um, and my paw didn't really hurt at all. But why did you tell us that it was hurting? Well, at first it was because I really didn't want to help clean up. But then I really liked it that you were taking such good care of me. It's your fault we can't go to the aquarium today because Daddy's hurt his leg on the train set. <laughs> I'm really, really sorry. We're still going to go. I can drive us all there. And Cookie won't be doing anything like that again, will you, Cookie? I won't. Never again. I promise. I'm sorry, Daddy. I know what to do. Before we leave, we should clean up the rest of the railroad tracks so no one else gets injured. So, so awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! Cookie was a good kitten, to tell the truth and he realized it's best to help out and not just think about yourself. Mommy's cold. One day, Mommy had caught a cold and had to stay in bed. Here's your breakfast, kittens. Oh, I'm just gonna go take Mommy some porridge and honey and lemon. Our poor Mommy. Being ill is no fun at all. I hope that she gets better really quickly. Well, we could help her feel better. What if we did something really nice for her? Oh, yeah. Maybe by cheering her up, we can make the cold go away. So, so awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! I once heard Grandpa say that laughter was the best medicine. If we really want Mommy to laugh, let's put on a clown show. <coughs> <laughs> Mommy will laugh so much, she'll get better right away. Hot water bottle to keep your toes warm. Here, have some lovely honey with lemon. Uh, thank you, my darling. Achoo! The kitty cats will now perform the funniest show that you've ever seen. We've added laughter medicine. <laughs> la, 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 la. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think Mommy's having much fun. Kittens, could the three of you please go play in your room? You shouldn't be near Mommy just now. You don't want to catch her cold as well. Aww. But how are we going to help Mommy if we can't be in the room where she is? We could play a nice concert for her outside. Let's do yeah. it! I've heard that music can make cats feel better. The rain had stopped, and the kittens were ready to start their concert. One, two, three, let's begin! <laughs> Darling, what is that strange noise I hear? Um, kittens, could you find a different place to practice, please? Mommy needs peace and quiet to rest. How are we going to do something nice for Mommy if she can't see us or hear us? We could bake her a delicious cake and then bring it to her. But we don't know how to bake a cake pudding. Well, I've watched Daddy do it a bunch of times. The first thing we're gonna need is eggs. And flour, right? Kittens, what was that? Oh, me wow. We were baking Mommy a cake so she'd feel better. We want her to feel so good that her cold goes away. Thank you very much for trying to help Mommy. But for now, we just need to be patient and give her time to get better. And I'll do everything I can to take perfect care of her. It's a real shame I can't make the sun shine for her. You're right. Mommy's always really happy when it's sunny out. I have a really good idea. Hmm. Ah. Uh huh? Darling, look there. The sun is coming out. Just look what a beautiful, bright, shiny sun the kittens have made for me. It's really, really cheering me up. I'm beginning to feel better already. Mommy started to feel better, and Daddy allowed the kittens to visit her. Mommy! Oh, how are you feeling now, Mommy? 
I'm feeling much better. My lovely kittens really cheered me up. And with all that rest and quiet, I'm really much, much better now. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! <laughs> oh, darling, sounds like you need some bed rest. I think it's my turn to take care of you for a while. <laughs> we'll draw a rainbow to make you feel better. <laughs> <laughs> the kittens learned that rest and relaxation is the best cure for a cold and a sprinkle of kitten sunshine. Kitty clothes. One day, Mommy was working on her new line of clothes for kittens and ran out of fabric. Kittens, I need to run to the store. If you do need something while I'm gone, ask Daddy in his office. Okay, okay we will, Mommy. I can't wait to see all of the cool clothes Mommy's working on. Why don't we take a look? They're right there in her office. <laughs> hey, it's a kitten-shaped doll, except it doesn't have a head. That's Mommy's catechin. It's a special model shaped like a real kitten to help Mommy make sure the clothes she makes will fit nicely. The coat on the drawing on the wall looks pretty nice, but the one on the catechin here doesn't. Oh, poor Mommy. She had so much to do that she didn't have the time to finish it. Hey, why don't we help her? Let's do it. We'll help make Mommy's coat the best kitten coat ever. So awesome. Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow. We need to add some pockets and a collar. Cookie, bring us some glue. I will draw the collar and the pockets. After that, pudding, you can cut them out. Someone needs to try it on. Well, professional models are usually pretty tall, and since Pudding's the tallest one, it's pretty clear Pudding should be our model. Go on, Pudding, see how well it fits. Well, I'll try it, but I don't think I can pull off that walk the real models do. Ouch, I can't see anything through this collar. Looks a little bit too high. It really shouldn't cover up your eyes and mouth. We could cut some slits for his mouth and his eyes. I'd only be able to see what's right in front of me, though. What if I needed to look in a direction other than straight ahead? We don't need to cut holes at all. We can just fold the collar down. Cool, good, yeah, that feels a lot better. Mm, except, uh, I can't get my paws into any of the pockets, though. Oh. That's probably because we kind of glued them shut. That's all right. They still make really pretty decorations. We can also glue some pretty buttons onto it and make it the prettiest coat ever. The kittens were so enthusiastic that they covered the whole coat with buttons without even noticing it. Oh boy, now it feels like it weighs a ton. I can't even lift my paws up. I guess it'd be all right to remove a few of the buttons. Oh no, now it's covered in glue, which doesn't make it look pretty at all. What if we covered up the glue with ribbons? <laughs> can't walk in this thing. <laughs> Kittens, what are all of you doing here in my office? And where's the coat that was on the catechin? Mommy, I'm wearing it. We decided to try and finish it. We're, We're sorry, sorry, Mommy. Mommy. <laughs> Don't worry, my darlings. That was actually just a practice coat to try things out. I'll make the real thing with this fabric I just bought. And if you would like to help me out, you're all very welcome. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! You practice, or at least that's what they say. And we're learning that the fact is, if you work hard every day, oh, you just won't believe all the things you can achieve. Do your best, let them see all you can be. The new coat turned out to be awesome. 
and the kitty cats were really happy that they got to help their mommy. <laughs> Exercising kitties. The kittens were spending the weekend with their grandma. Wake up, my darling kittens. Time to greet a lovely new day. We want to stay in bed a little longer. Yeah, I haven't got the energy to get out of bed. Come on, kittens. Join me for my morning exercise. You all will feel super energized and strong in no time at all. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Exercise. Only grandmas and grandpas need to exercise. We're just little kittens. Exercise is really great for cats of all ages. Stretching helps you feel strong and energetic. I'm really strong already. Just check this out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're some athlete. If you don't want to exercise, it's fine. But you absolutely must have porridge for breakfast, little ones. It will give you energy for the entire day. That means if we just eat porridge, we'll be really strong. Yeah, and we can do it without morning exercise. So, so awesome. Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow. The kittens had their breakfast and went to play outside. I'll bring it back here. I just can't run anymore. I'll get it down. We could use a stick to knock it down. But what if instead you break it? We can put springs on our feet and jump up and grab it that way. Uh, what if you get stuck in a tree as well? Then we'll have to get you out of the tree too. Hey, maybe we should call Dart's father. He'll hurry here in his fire truck and get the helicopter down. Hey! Up there! We can't distract firefighters from more important things. You know, fires and stuff. I suppose we'll just have to climb the tree ourselves to rescue the helicopter. But the kittens weren't strong enough to climb the tree. We're never going to be able to get our helicopter down. <laughs> ah, the old helicopter in the tree problem. Let's get it back then. Oh, wow! Huh? Ah. Grandma, that was amazing! You looked like some kind of super cat or something! There's nothing super about it. It's all thanks to my exercises. I'd like to be as strong as Granny, too. Yeah, so do I. I have a really good idea. Daddy and Mommy came to visit Grandma and the kittens. Well, Pudding, seems like you're a kitten superhero. It's only been one day and your grandma has already turned our kittens into athletes. Hello, kittens. And hello to you. It's all thanks to Granny's exercises. Actually, I feel like I could do with a little exercise. I'm pretty stiff after driving all of that way. In that case, why don't we... Do a few exercises all together. So, so awesome. awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! By the way, that me wow, me wow wave of yours is great exercise. So now the kitty cats always do their morning stretches, and their wave is a megatastic way to exercise their arms, too. Not so carefree cat. Mommy had gone out for the day, leaving Daddy at home with the kitty cats. 
Yes, my darling? Do you remember all the chores oh. I asked you to do? A uh, chore, yeah, but we were just about to start them. Uh, kittens, Mommy would like for you to vacuum the house and me to do the laundry before she gets back. Before we do the chores, could we play for a while? I'd love to sit here and watch soccer all day, but if we don't do these important chores, they won't get done at all. Are you tired of chores? The all-new Carefree Cat Device will do all your chores for you. It'll clean, do laundry, and take care of everything else. Call now and order the Carefree Cat Home System today. Awesome! I bet that thing could vacuum all the rocks oh. for us. And do many other things. <laughs> <laughs> do you know what I think I'll do, kittens? <laughs> Over the carefree cat. So, so awesome! awesome. Be wow, be wow, be wow, be wow! Daddy ordered the carefree cat system, and in an hour, it was installed in the kitten's house. Carefree cat is ready for use. <laughs> so, carefree cat. Turn on your cleaning mode. Yes! That's so awesome! What other stuff can it do? For one thing, it can recognize its owners by sight and unlock the doors to let them in. Identity confirmed. Now, Carefree Cat, turn on your laundry setting. Daddy and the kittens like the carefree cat very much. Uh. Uh. But then something went wrong. Uh, oh! It washed the colored clothes and the white clothes together! Let me in! Identity cannot be confirmed. But it's me, Cookie! Pudding too! Identity cannot be confirmed. We need to take our costumes off to show who we really are. But we haven't finished pretending to be aliens yet! Uh, uh, uh. This crazy carefree cat system is turning out to be more trouble than it's worth. I have a really good idea. We should just turn it off and do all the chores ourselves. <laughs> Mommy! Welcome home. We just got all the chores finished. Well done, my darlings. I knew I could count on you to get everything done, which is why I brought you all ice cream. So, so awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! If the carefree cat had done the chores instead of us, do you think he'd get to eat the ice cream instead of us, too? Uh, what carefree cat are you talking about? <laughs> well, we sort of tried out a labor-saving gadget. But we figured out right away that we just don't need it. Yes! Come on, everybody! Let's have ice cream! The kittens actually had some fun doing the chores themselves. And what's more, they loved how happy it made Mommy. The kitten's little cousin. One day, Mommy told the kitty cats that they had guests coming over. Kittens, guess what's happening today? My sister, your Aunt Cinnamon, is coming to visit. And she'll be bringing her little son Bagel along with her. We have a real-life cousin? So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! I'm curious what our cousin Bagel is really like. I'm sure he's really well behaved. Good afternoon, cousin. What a charming bow you have. Huh? I'm sure that he loves to read. <laughs> 
And I bet he's good at playing soccer. With him on our side, we'll have the best team ever. Or an amazing music band. <laughs> Hi. Hello there, Cinnamon. Auntie Cinnamon! <laughs> Hello there, little kittens. My, how big you've all gotten. Where's Bagel? We want to meet our cousin. Of course, here's your cousin. <laughs> um, is that really our cousin? Now, sweetie, behave yourself. You play with your little cousin and we'll go make some tea. The kittens hadn't expected Bagel to be so little. They didn't know what to do. He can't even walk. How can we play with him? And he really can't talk at all. Oh, be careful. This is my very favorite dolly. See this cool ball bagel? You can play with it if you want to, all right? <laughs> I guess you're too small to play with it right. Hey, look at this. It's the best game ever. It's called chess. <laughs> oh, ball yeah. from my chess set. You can't play with my doll. <laughs> or with my toy cars. <laughs> We should try to calm him down. We can't let him play with the windmill model. It's for kittens that are way bigger than him. If he plays with it, it'll get broken. That's it. I have a really good idea. We just need to find some baby toys for him. When I was just a little kitten, I loved this rattle very much. Look, isn't it cute? The kittens found the toys they had played with when they were little themselves. Kittens, you've become real friends with Bagel. Well, we need to make sure we come visit you guys more often. So awesome! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! The kitty cat saw that playing with little kittens can be fun, especially if you try to remember what it was like to be a baby yourself. Kitty cats back in time. One day, Grandpa and the kittens set out to explore a cave. Long ago in prehistoric times, ancient cats didn't build houses like us. Instead, they lived in caves, just like this one. Ah! <laughs> Don't you worry. We've got flashlights and helmets to protect our heads. They're really strong. Yay, this is amazing. We look like real cave explorers. <laughs> so, so awesome. Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow. The cave turned out to be quite dark, but very exciting. Hey, hey! Hi! <laughs> Grandpa, will you tell us about the ancient cats? Sure. They lived in caves just like this one. They wore simple clothes. And they didn't have flashlights or electricity or central heating, so they would gather around fires. <laughs> oh, wow! I've wanted to find traces of ancient cats since I was small, 
but I never could find any. Oh! <clears throat> uh, uh, oh. It's a shame that Grandpa never found what he always dreamed he would. Hey, you guys, why don't we help him? How? Grandpa! What, Cookie? Look here. I just found some paw prints. Is it possible ancient cats could have left these? <laughs> Cookie, these are your own footprints. Huh, you're right. What other kinds of things did ancient cats leave behind? Well, I suppose it could be anything, really, Cookie. Not just footprints, but objects and paintings on the cave walls sometimes. Mm. Uh, my grandpa, I think I found an ancient candy wrapper. An ancient cat must have dropped it a long time ago. Like maybe a hundred gajillion and sixty-five years. <laughs> Don't think that's ancient. Ancient cats only ate things like mushrooms, berries, and fish. They didn't have any candy back then. Oh, no? Let's pick up the wrapper in any case. Look what I I think an ancient cat must have drawn this picture. It's a wall painting like you said they used to make. Hmm, that's interesting. It's a really wonderful drawing, but it wasn't painted by any ancient cats. But how can you tell that it's not? There's one detail that gives it away. There were no airplanes back then. Aww. Please don't feel bad, kittens. Thank you for trying to help me find the ancient cat traces I've always dreamt of. Hmm? Hello? Lunch is ready. Please head back home. All right, be back soon. That was your mommy, telling us it's time to head home. She has your lunch ready. Oh, there's more than one path. Which one do we need to take? Oh, oh no, we're all lost in here. <laughs> hmm. Don't you worry, Pudding. We'll figure out how to handle this problem. I have a really good idea. Remember Cookie's footprints? We can follow our footprints back. Good thinking, Candy. You're a real cave explorer. Grandpa and the kittens headed to the cave's exit. I'm sorry you didn't find any evidence of ancient cats, Grandpa. But we had a real honest-to-goodness adventure. Let me get a picture of my brave fellow adventurers. Uh, move right. A little more. So the bat family's in the shot, too. Smile big now. Oh. Oh. Kittens, look! We found an actual wall painting done by ancient cats long ago. How can I never have noticed it before? You never had anyone with you before that you wanted to take a picture of. Look at that. It's kind of like the ancient cats are trying to wave at us. Hi there! Me wow, me wow, me wow, me wow! The kitty cats and their grandpa kept their eyes wide open that day in the cave, and by noticing every detail, they eventually found what they were looking for.